Well, hello again. Welcome, everybody, uh, to the fourth and uh, final video in this series. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about uh, the script, and uh, we'll also get in uh, to rebuttals. Uh, this uh, script is going to be for mortgage protection, uh, appointment setting uh, specifically, and uh, we'll probably some of the callers that we have um, on the line here today with us are, are going to be doing uh, some pivoting too, that uh, yeah, they'll be able to make some, some sales uh, that uh, aren't life insurance uh, related. So we'll probably go into that a little bit as well. So one of the first things that you're gonna wanna notice here at the very start of the script, um, it starts out, hello, and you're going to ask for the person's first name. Uh, this is Patrick uh, calling in regards to your mortgage with, okay? And where we get that information, this is going to be the lender, okay? Your mortgage with the lender. And on almost all the leads that you will have uh, and that you'll be calling, we'll have the lender. And that'll be Bank of America on some of the other ones that can be found here, Dallas Prime Properties. So they're located up here at the top. Let's see if we can find a different one. There it is again. Um, here, you just got it. Sometimes if the lead is a little bit different, you have to find it in a different area. So all the leads will have it. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out before I got started where I'm getting that information from. So uh let's get right into it so i'm gonna just uh role play uh talking with myself uh, as i'm the person calling and the person answering uh, so that uh, you get a good idea of how the the script is going to to flow uh hello uh mark yeah hi mark uh, this is patrick uh, calling in regards to your mortgage with uh, smi yeah. Hey, real quick, I'm doing a review and I have your paperwork that you sent in to learn more about, you know, protecting your mortgage in case of injury, disability, you know, critical illness and untimely death. You remember sending that in? Okay. Well, yeah. Well, according to my records, Mark, it looked like a licensed representative was supposed to get back to you and it looks like they either didn't get a chance to see you or you needed a call back, something like that. Do you remember what happened? Okay. This is where you're going to stop and wait for them to answer, okay? You want them to answer something here. And most often, <clears throat> I actually included some of the answers that are most common by people after that. Uh, no one came out, uh, yeah, we're really not ready for that, or we're not interested. Um, so we're not interested, they might not be interested because they're not ready, or they might not be interested because they already have it and the price was too high. Uh, or they're they're happy they got something and they're happy with the coverage. So uh, let's say you know we'll, we'll take each one as it is. <clears throat> so uh, yeah, I, I think uh, I had I uh, was supposed to meet with somebody and and no one ever you know no one ever got by. Oh okay, Mark, I, I do apologize for that. But I'll tell you that's why we do a review. Uh, there is um, another company that was handling your case, and uh, what happens then if? Uh, they don't get a chance to see you. It gets escalated to us to make sure that we get to see you and get your questions answered. And you're going to go right down to the close. <clears throat> We'd only need about 15 minutes to help you and get you updated. I am going to be in your area tomorrow. Uh, by the way, do you work days or nights? Okay, and then wait for him to answer. Uh, sometimes I'll go over here to the lead and say, you know, if they say, well, I work, uh, I work days. Oh, okay. Yeah. You had mentioned here on your, your appointment form that the, uh, your evenings were best. So that's still the best time for you. Great. <clears throat> well, looking on the, on the schedule, looks like I have an opening tomorrow at five or a little bit later at seven, uh, which time would be better for you. Okay. We always give them a choice of two times. You don't, one of the things you don't want to say <clears throat> is what time would be good for you. Uh, because they'll never be a good time. So always give them a choice of two times. If neither one of those times are good, go to the next available time. You know, and now if it's later on in the evening, obviously, you know, you're not going to say, you know, nine or 10 o'clock at night because that wouldn't be 
a good idea. You'll, you'll say, okay, well, it sounds like tomorrow is not a good day for you. Uh, they are going to be out in your area on Thursday. Uh, they have the same times available, five or seven. Which time, which of those times would be better for you on Thursday? Okay, and just move to the next available day. Okay, so let's go back up. Uh, yeah, you know, we, we sent that in, but we're really, we're really still, we're not ready. Oh, okay. Well, I understand completely. Now, did the last person you met with ever get you a price? Okay. Well, I'm not sure uh, that the last company that contacted you was aware of this, but we can make sure that we have the quote that you need. So, by the way, uh, okay. Uh, so that we can make sure that you, you know, you have the quote that you need. So that way, you know, when you do decide to do it, you have that information available to you. And then you jump right down to the close again. Uh, we only need 15 minutes, yada, yada, yada. Okay. So the next one, uh, got it already. Price was too high, denied coverage. It's usually a combination of those. Okay. And so, yeah, we, we already got it. Okay. Uh, well, you know, I'll tell you, that's why we do a review. That's fantastic that you already got that coverage. Now, there may be a chance that the previous company that saw you only had limited options available. So they were able, you know, to only give you one quote or one price with one product. See, we work with many different options, many different companies and products that fit into almost anyone's budget. So, you know, we can take a few minutes and work up a new quote for you. It's free, you know, and just find out if we can, you know, get you the the uh, the, the price that you wanted. Um, I do have a, a representative available tomorrow. Um, you mentioned here on your appointment form that evening was the best. Is that still the case for you? Great. Well, I have a 5 o'clock or a 7 o'clock available. What time would be better for you? Okay. So let's go ahead and assume that you set the appointment. It's going to be 5 o'clock. Okay. And I have your address as 1411 Biltmore Court. Great. Uh, they will be making a special trip to help you. So just do me a favor and put that on your calendar, or on the fridge, wherever you keep your notes, uh, that a representative will be by to see you tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Okay? Great. Well, thank you so much, Mark. We look forward to helping you and meeting you both tomorrow then at 5 o'clock. Okay? Thanks. Bye. So <clears throat> that is the script. Um, you usually want to try a combination of some of those uh, you know, if they're if they say right away that they're not interested, you want to try to pull out uh, the reason that they're not interested. So that brings us to the rebuttals. I'm gonna make this a little bit larger here. And actually, I'm gonna drop this down now. Okay. So these uh, these rebuttals were kind of created for the agents themselves. Um, I am in the process of putting these in, so you'll be talking about uh, these rebuttals in the second person, basically, instead of saying, you know, I'll meet you uh, tomorrow, uh, so I'll see you both, okay? Uh, changing I to they uh, or he or whatever the case may be. Okay, but right now they're in they're in first person. Um, so you know, yeah. Uh, for so, for example, you get there. Do you remember what happened? You know, last time we uh, last time we tried to to get hold of you. Oh yeah, you know, somebody an agent tried to stop by, but you know, we really we were busy, and you know, even now it's it's still not a good time. I'm busy. <clears throat> Okay, well, I, I, it does sound like you're very busy, you know, but I'll tell you, I'm lucky I got you on the phone today. It really only takes about 15 minutes to go through, and I know this must be important for you, seeing as how you did find the time to mail, you know, the, uh, the information to us, um, you know, to get you coverage. I do have a representative out in your area tomorrow uh, at 5 or at 7, and they can show you, you know, what we have available, it's real quick, doesn't take much time. Which time would be better for you, 5 or 7 o'clock tomorrow? Okay, so that's one. I'm just going to go over a few here.
Here's a good one. How much does it cost? <clears throat> yeah, we had somebody buy last time and they were, it was really, really expensive. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand that. Uh, a lot of people have mentioned that too. Uh, it, it's a good chance that the last person, you know, the last agent that saw you only worked with maybe one or two different companies so they could only get you one price. Um, you know, we work with several different companies and I'll tell you, that's why we meet individually with everyone so we can build a plan, you know, that meets your budget and make sure that it's comfortable for you. Um, you know, I don't have all of your information in front of me right now, but, you know, once I have an agent stop by, uh, they can develop a couple options for you to choose from. Okay. I have a representative in your area tomorrow. Uh, I noticed on, on your, on your appointment form that, uh, he said that you said that evening is the best for you. Is that still the case? Yeah. Okay. Well, I still have a, I have a five or a seven o'clock available. What time would be better for you? Okay. So. You always, after you deliver a rebuttal, you always want to make sure you go to the close. Here's another one for doing it over the phone. I already have multiple quotes. <clears throat> Let's see, this one is for uh, not interested, all set. Um, okay, well, I, I can understand, you know, Mr. Jones, uh, you know, why you, you wouldn't be interested. Um, you know, it's a good chance that uh, somebody that tried to contact you before might have only worked with one company. They might have even only got you one price, and maybe it was a little bit too high. Whatever the case may be, but... Um, I am holding on to your personal information that you mailed out to us, and I am obligated to return that information to you to make sure that we get you coverage. I do have a representative available in your area tomorrow. Would 5 o'clock or 7 o'clock be better for you? Okay. That's not the best not interested one, but without dealing with why they're not interested, you can basically bypass the reason they're not interested and just go for an obligation quote close and that's pretty much what that is we're obligated to see you and get this completed <clears throat> uh, coverage at work so uh, everybody that's on this call you'll get a copy of this after i change some things around there's a lot of them on here there's almost i think almost 30 over 30 so i'll uh, i'll get that to you so let's go back to the script here for a minute so let's say you've done your best with whatever's happened. Uh, they, t you know, with, you've uh, given them a few uh, rebuttals to their objections, and they're either really happy with the coverage. They got somebody out. They got the coverage. They're really happy with it. They don't want mortgage protection anymore. Okay. Uh, you, everybody on this call knows about the different products that we offer. Uh, for example, uh, hearing, vision, and dental. Um, the critical illness, uh, you know, take a look at their ages um, on the lead form. Take a look at their ages and see, okay, um, that one would be Medicare eligible. Kind of keep an eye out for ones that are Medicare eligible. That one's close, but not quite yet. Anybody over like 1955 and older, um, well, really anybody, you want, you kind of, as long as they're not like 25 or 30 years old, that might be a little bit too soon for, for final expense. But the ones that are older, you can ask them if they, you know, have a plan that would cover their funeral and burial expenses to complete their retirement coverage. And uh, then we can send an agent out and then we'll make a note on the appointment form that we saw earlier that it's going to be a final expense appointment. Uh, if they are Medicare eligible, uh, start talking to them about their Medicare. And if they have an Advantage plan, you can go towards um, the hospital indemnity uh, to cover uh, the out-of-pocket expenses that many Advantage plans have. Uh, that's a good one for that. And the hearing, vision, and dental. So a lot of opportunities don't, you know, if they're, they're fine with what they have with their mortgage protection, that's great. You still have other opportunities available and, uh, you know, I'm, you can definitely get a, a sale on that. Now, once you're going towards a sale, try to, you know, if it's uh, 
the hospital indemnity or the vision and dental, try to close it yourself on the phone first, okay? And then if not, and they still wanna meet with somebody, with an agent, go ahead and then just make a note on that appointment form and then we'll send it out. An agent will close that for you. So thanks again for watching. I hope this helps and good luck with your appointment setting.